Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Nasty Master Daddy here with you, giving you my take on Super Mutant Alien Assault. This game is out now on Xbox One for $9.99 US or your regional equivalent. It's developed by Cybernate. Great, great developer name. It's got my name in it, Nate. Come on. <laughs> Published by Surprise Attack Games. This is just pretty much shoot 'em up kind of like arena style you know you go level by level by level and if you die you know you start over uh, it's a pretty simplistic game uh, go to the options check the options out real quick general options uh, the screen shake and the screen kick uh, you could turn that off if that gets on your nerves I mean eh, I kind of it doesn't really bother me too much also uh, you'll see in a second what I'm talking about uh, the controls you can see all the controls here do, 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 do. Oh! Sound volume. Let's turn it down. Nah, nah. Alright, back out. Okay. And I'll go over the achievements too, like I always do. Alright, now let's get into it. There is an endless, an endless mode. Here, I'll show you that real quick. There's no achievements tied to endless mode. But, you, but endless mode, you know, endless. You just keep going on and on and on and on and on and and on and on and on and on. All right. So I guess you could say this is like action genre. You know, shoot 'em up. Uh, like I said, arena style. All right. Now uh, to unlock uh, heroic and epic, I have yet to do that. In order to unlock each one, you have to beat. You have to get from my little robot is standing over the first level. And you have to get the whole way to the end without dying. I can start in Galaxy 2 or 3, but if I start in 3 and I beat, I beat, uh, I beat it, say I beat by starting in 3, I'm not going to unlock Heroic. You have to do it from the very beginning. I have yet to do that. Uh, there are a lot of unlockables in this game, too. Uh, this is your start item, so this is what you start with. Uh, it does... I mean, you'll get a feel for it. I like to double jump. That's just my preference, personal preference. But there are some other ones too. There's some really nice ones. And if you want to see what they are, you hit A for info. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't even realize about that one. The time on the on the, on the machines is have. I want to go with that one then for this one. All right, let's ready up. There's like virtually no load time either, which is nice for a game like this. You don't have to sit there. Or else that could get even more annoying. And you just kill the enemies. Uh, this one is just this one that sees the time bar at the top. You just gotta make it to the end of the time bar at the top. Try to avoid as many enemies as you can. There's a sidearm. Mine, mine gun. There's a lot of unlockables, like I was saying. And you just basically destroy him until it says, "Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him." Oh, I'm doing very, pretty bad. But like the further along, it, it is kind of tough at the beginning because you don't have too many unlocks available to you yet, and it gets easier the more unlocks you get, I would say. But it doesn't make it it's not not super easy. And in this part, there's only in this one you just want to deactivate the machines. There's an achievement for uh, using explosives on the machines to deactivate them. Uh, right now, that is, I believe it's glitched because I've done that so many times, it's ridiculous. You watch, I'll just, you can cook the grenade, which I did right there, and it deactivated it. Oh, this is my, this is my favorite, this is my favorite right here. All right. Stop flying on the top, man. And in the boxes, you pick up. Uh, once you're full at the bottom, you once you have once you have you hit the back button here, and it'll show you what you picked up. 
and it'll give you a definite. It'll give you a, uh, if, if you're not quite sure what it is. So you can always look at that. Uh, once you have all of these full, like once I get a special ability, then the boxes will start giving me like hearts and like random bombs and stuff like that. That's what what I noticed, anyways. Once you once you have all that all that full there. Oh, I got to the boss. I have like no health. The no, oh, no, I didn't get to the boss yet. I'm gonna have to play again. I'm freaking dying like crazy here. That's a health machine too. It's very nice. Ah! Come on! I hate the freaking things that fly. Yeah, I got a special ability now, which is bullet time. You hit X for your special ability. You, you, you see the S on the very top. Every time you use a special ability, it uses a it uses a, a little bar, a bar. And see these green drops that that they drop, the green pellets. Well, whenever you get one of them, that fills up a bar on your uh, meter there, on your special meter. Of course, then your hearts. And then the, after the special meter, you know, is the grenades, and after that is your ammo. Yeah, I should get that. I should get to the boss. Yeah, see, he dropped the green pellet. It's filled up with special meters. See, this is the shaking I was talking about earlier. You can turn that off in the, in, the, in the pause menu if you want. You don't have that. You have to have that. Oh, this weapon is great for a boss. Yeah, this weapon is great for a boss. It does so much damage. Oh, yeah, every... Every time you complete three, I believe it's, yeah, it's three levels. Every time you complete three levels, you unlock, uh, you unlock something. And that, I just unlocked, unlocked the boss, Monarch, and it'll probably show up right here, too. Ah. Oh, I'm history. Ow. Oh. Get out of my way. Oh god. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm dead. I didn't I don't know. I don't I do not like that weapon. What you, what that weapon is is you release a bomb out and you have to once you fire at it, it activates it. So I don't like that weapon. Oh, cool! I unlock a maxi in three more levels. I unlock uh, three more of the shields, which means a complete level. I unlock a magnum. So that's the basis of the game right there. Uh, there's a lot of unlockables, so it'll keep you going for a while. Uh, I mean, I, I think I've, I've probably put about probably about 10 hours into it maybe somewhere around there eight to ten hours in that range and uh, it is starting to get old but I mean you can you can see why putting that many hours you know but if you play it in moderation you know I mean it's de it's a decent game it'll have you going for a while uh, the graphics are kind of the old-school look graphics so it's, it's, it's pretty cool but I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say. I'm gonna have to say six out of ten on this one, guys. I'm just gonna have to say that. Uh, it'll keep you going. Like I said. Uh, oh, let me look at the achievements real quick before I sign out. Like this is the achievement right here. Exploding pressure. It says activate 30 pressure machines with explosives. It's supposed to be deactivate, I believe, because the pressure machines are. I was showing you earlier. Uh. Oh yeah, here's a, you have to beat the, there is co-op, I should have said that, there is multiplayer, it's local co-op only though, and uh, 
you have a beat the game in one run on normal difficulty with a partner, and then heroic, and then epic. So you have to do the same. You have to do the same individually. Normal by yourself. Normal, heroic, and epic. An epic. That's where all the that's where the that's where the gamer score lies. That's where the majority of it lies, right there. The big the big bunches. And then you have your miscellaneous, you know, unlock all equipment. You know, you'll get that over time. And then kill six enemies with one sniper bullet. I don't have that one yet, but uh, I'll show you the unlocked ones real quick. Uh, the gas ball is level level uh, area uh, galaxy two. And uh, what you do is you just you take the gas ball and you just you just huck it. Fast, as fast and then downhill as you can, man. Uh, keep the boomerang in the air for 30 seconds. Just leave one enemy left and get the boomerang, and then just throw the boomerang and then keep jumping, jumping over it as it comes towards you, and it'll come back towards you. Jump over it again. Defeat a boss under 10 seconds. You have to have, you have to kind of have to have the right weapons and loadout to be able to do that one. And then you use the pulse belt. That's an unlockable on a cooking explosive. So you just want to cook a grenade in your hand and use the pulse belt, which is uh. The pulse belt is a defensive ability, I believe. And then you just have, you know, your story, your basic kill galaxy, one boss, galaxy two, galaxy three. All right, guys, like I said, six out of ten. This this game is pretty decent. Uh, the game's 9.99. It's out now on Xbox One. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Twitter. I do giveaways on there. Nasty Master X A is the Twitter handle. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to leave a comment. Comment as much as you want. Yeah, y'all. Later, guys. Peace.